Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show two different tie knots that would be great for uh, dress shirts with wider collars. Let's get right into it. Just for perspective, I uh, decided to tie a foreign hand knot against this uh, dress shirt that has a little bit of a wider collar. And as you can see, it doesn't, it fills it in okay, but I believe that the there could be a different knot there to fill that space. All right, so the first knot, I'm gonna be showing you how to tie Zabalthus knot. And just by looking at that, look at that, that fills that collar pretty good, fills in that space. So this is a possible knot that you can use. Let's tie it. All right, so I got the smaller end on my right shoulder, bigger end on my left. We're gonna be tying with the seam side pointing out. And because this knot is so big, we're gonna need a lot of fabric. So the smaller end you want pretty high on your dress shirt. I'm gonna go with my third button here. To start off, all you're gonna do is go, uh, bring the smaller end over top of the bigger end, like that. And you're gonna take the bigger end and go down. You have it over here, just shift it to the other side and you're doing the same thing. You're gonna go down. We're gonna do that one more time. So it's here, go across, go down. Now to finish off, taking it now, you're just gonna go straight across, bring it up, and then we're gonna go down that cross we just made. And that's a Balthus knot, again, really big. It'll fill that wide collar if you happen to have a dress shirt with a wide collar, and it looks pretty good. It'll stay right up against that shirt. It won't move anywhere. So for the second knot, this is a triple Windsor knot, one of my favorites. Um, again, very, very wide, very big, and it'll fill that collar. We can open it up. We st we got a lot of fabric there, so it'll fill it. Let's tie it. All right, so I got the bigger end on my right shoulder, smaller end on my left. Again, because we're using a lot of fabric, we want to move this smaller end up. What we're going to do is take the bigger end, cross it over, go underneath, and then go across. This is pretty much a four and hand knot steps, but it's gonna be a little different. From here, take it up. We have it on this side. What you wanna do is just move it to the other side, like so. Take it underneath and then go down again. One more time over to this side, but now we're gonna finish it. We're gonna go across, bring it up. and then finish by going down that cross we just made. But that's the triple Windsor knot. Again, another bigger knot that can help you fill out that space in those wider collars. Okay, so I just gave you two different knots that you can choose to tie. If you have a bigger uh, collar, a wider collar, these will fill those and make, you look, make your outfit look pretty good overall. If you wanna go off my steps, remember to tie looking in a mirror because then the steps will be the exact same and you won't struggle. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.